Key Stage 3, Level 7, work based on the National Curriculum Level Descriptors. Level 7, Handling Data. And in Level 7, we're expected to be able to identify and criticise misleading graphs. So, just glance at these two graphs. They seem to be a steady increase of information. A constant increase of information, quite a reasonable increase of information. But when we look at the scales, because that is in fact the key, is to study the scale on the axes. The first thing to notice here is that this space up here is a thousand, whereas this is also a thousand, and this is in fact 250. So the scale is not consistent. The scale is not consistent and it doesn't start from zero. If this graph started from zero, then the information would look like this, which is less impressive. So point number one, it doesn't start from zero. And point number two, the scale is not constant. Let's take this point here. January, February, March. One, two, three months. January to February, February to March, March to April. Four, three months there. So there's an increase of a thousand in three months. So if we divide it by three, that's an average of 333 per month, whatever it's about. Whereas this, although it appears that it's continuing in the same fashion, is one, two, three months, one, two, three months, but it's only 250 in three months. So roughly speaking, that's about 60. So this is saying an improvement of 300 odd, and this is saying an improvement of 60 odd. Let's look at this graph. Now again, it doesn't start from zero, so really maybe it should look like that with zero down there. At least the scale is consistent after that. 50, 50. But again, if we look at the gradient, because along here the scale is not consistent. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then it goes 5, and then it goes a gap of 10, and then it goes a gap of 20. So here it's going up in 1s, then it's going up in 5s, then it's going up in 10s, and then it's going up in 20s. So this gradient here is in fact saying in five whatever, five weeks, an increase of 50. So if it was weeks, that would be 10 per week. Whereas this is saying an increase of 50, again the same amount, but this time it's actually in 35 weeks, which is one point something rather. So this is a very slow increase compared to this. It all depends on what the information is about, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's certainly misleading. When you look at graphs, look at the scales, are they consistent, and do they in fact start at zero? Finding the mean and the mode from a grouped frequency table. So here we have a grouped frequency table on the cost of repairs. So let's suppose it's saying three motorbike repairs cost between 0 and £30, pounds. five repairs cost between 30 and £60, pounds. eight repairs cost between 60 and 90 or to be more accurate, between 60 and 90 including 90 Now with this information, it is in fact impossible to work out the mean. We can only estimate what the mean is. Because to work out the mean, you do need to know all of the separate repair bills and add them all up. And we don't have that information. So what we have to do is to estimate. And to do that, we assume that these three bills, although they were between 0 and £30, including £30, averaged out to the mid value of 0 to 30, which is 15. And we call that the mid interval value. We assume that these five repairs averaged out to each costing midway between 30 and 60, the mid-interval value being 45. 
these eight repairs averaged out to the mid value between 60 and 90 which is 75 these nine repairs averaged out between 90 and 120 which is 105 pounds and these seven repairs averaged out to midway between 120 and 150 which is 135 pounds and we call these the mid interval values so we then work out the 3 multiplied by 15 is 45 so that's what these three bills added up to as an estimate 5 multiplied by 45 would work out what these added up to 8 multiplied by 75 would work out what these added up to as an estimate 9 multiplied by 105 would work out what these 9 repair bills added up to as an estimate and 7 multiplied by 135 would work out what these 7 bills added up to as an estimate so using a calculator I've worked out 545s, 875s, 905s and 7135s if I add up this column and it adds up to 32 that means to say there was a total of 32 repair bills if I add up this column and it adds up to 2760 that is the total that the 32 bills had cost as an estimate so therefore the mean is going to be this value divided by this the mean equals 2760 divided by 32 which is 86 pounds 25 as an estimate of the repair bill because I've used it estimated values now the modal cost mode being the most popular and modal meaning the same thing is the bill that was most frequent well all we can do is give the group and this is the group where in fact there were nine bills and that is more than any other group therefore the mode or modal is the group where the most bills appeared which is 90 to 120 pounds we also need to be able to work out the median from a group frequency table. 